Hi, I'm Diana Green. We're here at Park and Ronin. It's hot to designers to find out what's in your latest Spring Summer 2017 collection. This is so exciting to get to see how you guys produce your show and putting it all together. Tell me about this, you know, opening sequence. This whole um, flags of all the big Ivy League school competing for the ticket for the Olympic got me the idea of taking the PR and taking it, making it the, the logo of the flag. Tell us about more about what you have in this season. Sure, I mean it's kind of come full circle. We started really being known for our swim. We've added in a whole lifestyle component to it. A lot of knits. Basically everything you need for a great weekend away somewhere. Well, I know it all starts with a great pair of shorts, and nowadays I hear like if you're in Brazil, you start out with a pair of shorts you wear all day long. Is that part of the concept? We do as well. It was our philosophy, you know. Everything that we designed during our Taku was very kind of like a versatile use. You could put it in a great tank top or a little tiny bikini and then it's the short and the flip-flops and a march to the beach. And it's basically up to you how you style it to take it from city time, daytime, into beach time. Congratulations on your collaboration with Sephora. Oh, you know, they've been great partners of ours. We actually used them a few seasons ago as well, and it was, I think it was our Dickie Greenleaf collection inspired by the talented Mr. Ripley, and it just goes to show you like how timeless they are. You know, they keep coming back to that. They're clean, they're classic, they're versatile. Each season, it seems like your shows are getting bigger and bigger, and production values are absolutely wonderful. I love seeing your shows. We need to start to collaborate with other people that do things that this is not our forte, but with our twist and our inspiration, our color sensitivity, we change it and bring something really fresh and add to our collection. This year, we collaborated with David Hart and he made a beautiful jacket and it just suits the, you know, the, the whole inspiration. Tell me about some of the day wear. Going forward more and more on the knits, I think it really fits the energy and the sort of the laid back vibe. And we have like a couple of different versions, like sort of our, just like the classic polo reworked with some fun like varsity stripes. And um, we have a new, really we're calling it a gossamer weight knit. It's a very, very lightweight. Color is really important to us. I think, you know, color is really an emotional thing. Yellow, like canary yellow, was kind of happy and fun. What else are you into right now? I am really excited to go to the beach. <laughs> it's been a long, long month getting this together and you know it's so funny because we're all about beach and travel and leisure and it's really a lot of times we have to imagine it. What else are you into right now? Finishing the designer underwear collection. This is my new little toy, you know, stepping away from like clothes and you know, that super elaborated items and actually it's very difficult to bring in something really fresh, exclusive, sexy and such a tiny piece, which is an underwear. What's so special about your underwear? I think the fit we really are working on, and we added a new low-rise brief this season, which is even better. Um, we're using a Pima cotton stretch. It's really, really lightweight, and then like a very fine microfiber for some of the prints. You're packing for a weekend trip. What do you take? Um, if it's a beach trip, I take like two swimsuits, tank tops, a light sweater, jeans and like three solid t-shirts. I need a lot of swimsuits, a lot of shorts, flip-flops, and one good outfit for the night. But definitely a lot of my swimsuits and my shorts, you know. I can't appear on the beach every day wearing the same swimsuits. Being the master of swimwear.